Welcome, folks, to um, Massive Media Marketing. This is all about you becoming a media celebrity, uh, whether on social media or regular media, you know, even podcasts, and learning how to leverage that ability to start making your business, whatever it may be. It doesn't make a difference whether you're a hypnotist or, you know, a, uh, a trainer of, of some sort. You can learn how to be on media and make your business get super giant exposure. And that's what um, today's class is all about. Um, me personally, um, I've been doing, um, I've been on stages my entire life. I mean, I grew up um, uh, in an Italian family. Uh, my mom and dad had me playing the accordion at six years old. And my dad would carry that stick and accordion everywhere to every family function all over the planet with me as a six-year-old doing, uh, you know, these uh, Italian dinners with me playing the accordion. They all look at the little kid playing the accordion. So I was on stage early on doing that. Um, and then I played uh, in band, you know, in, in school, I played the clarinet and then I became a little hipper and, and got the electric guitar by the time I was in high school and played in the band. And then I got tired of carrying the equipment around, became a comedian because I got carried of, uh, tired of carrying large amps and uh, guitars and stuff around. So I said, I'm just gonna become a comedian because they already have the microphone there. I tell jokes and people are still gonna, you know, uh, love me anyway. So uh, I've been on stages a long, long, long time. Then I started doing a lot of media appearances as a comedian because um, that's what you would need to do to promote shows. And uh, in my particular um, uh, field, um, there's two types of ways you get paid. You get paid by you know, a guy who says, okay, I'm gonna pay you X amount of dollars to do the show. And then there's also well, the way I do it, I get paid by the amount of fans who walk through the building, which I think is the better way to go because then I have no competition. Um, and I did it that way because I kind of fell into it because I thought that's the way it was always done. Um, and it was very successful for me, but the way you get fans to come see you is by doing media appearances. So that's what I did. I did a ton of them. I did over a thousand in my career. I've been on TV and radio and podcasts over a thousand times in my, uh, 30 year comedy career. So I do have a little bit of experience doing this and I want to translate that over to you. So you folks become good at it also. Uh, because that's my goal. You know, when you become successful, I become successful. Um, I am a recognition person. So when people say, man, that Rich Guzzi, he showed me how to do it. That makes me feel really good. And I love making that happen for you. So yes, I want to be, uh, I want to see you become successful. And that's, that's what this is all about. Now, I do have a secret ingredient. And that is, I have a lot of friends who are, are smart at a lot of things. So what I'll do is um, I will leverage those friendships to say, hey, how do we, you know, how do I get on media a little easier? How do I get better shows? And that's where my buddy Tim came in, right? And Tim introduced me to Bruce. And then all of a sudden I was able to leverage that even further, those relationships. And I was able to get on even bigger and larger shows. And then the, the, the process keeps continuing. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, in these next couple hours. Um, so if you have a business, um, if you have a product, if you have a service, if you have, if you have a training that you're looking to sell, that you're looking to uh, amplify your media exposure, this is the perfect class for you. Um, we want people who are looking to amplify and show um, you know, people outside the outside world uh, what you're all about. Um, this is not for people who think that they're going to be able to just go on a whole bunch of just random media and think they're going to become super famous. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, they're going to be hanging out with the Kardashians. That's what this class is not for. All right. This requires some effort on your part to do the steps. All right. But if you're willing to do the steps, then you're going to see some really massive success in, in getting media. And it's actually not a hard process. It's just learning how to do it and having the right people around you and actually making the effort to you know, make the phone calls and, and, uh, and think uh, in a way where I always tell people, um, think of yourself as a magazine. You know, Don't try to be everything to everybody. You go to the bookstore, there's thousands of magazines on the wall. And over here, there's Road and Track. Over here, there's Home and Garden. And they don't, you know, people, you know, each one of them have subscribers. Um, they, but the guy opening the car magazine does, is not looking for bushes. 
You know, he's like, hey, what's these bushes over here? I'm not interested in any bushes. You know, so he's not interested. In the, why would I put that in that magazine? He's interested in the new Porsche or the new Ferrari or the, the, the rear engine Corvette, something like that. Um, where the same thing with the guy with the home and garden. He doesn't care about driving fancy cars. He wants to see about the new fruit trees that he'd be planting in his backyard. So the point is there's something for everybody. So you don't have to be all encompassing. And the more you can start narrowing that focus down and getting that brand specific client coming to you, then you'll know how to get on the proper media. And those people are going to be just rabid fans that will be wanting to buy your products, your services, and whatever you're out, whatever you have to offer. So that's what this class is really all about is figuring that out, figuring out what your brand is and who you are, then going out and getting the right people to see what you have. And it's my pleasure uh, to start this and bring up uh, two friends that have helped me uh, gain the massive success that I've had. And the first guy we got coming up, uh, we met actually at another class, you know, um, because I take classes too. You know, people think just, you know, just because I'm the coach and I'm really successful that um, I, I must have some type of magic pill or whatever like that. I'll tell you what the magic pill is. I take classes also, but I'm all about doing, you know, so um, I guess the secret to my success is that I'm very tenacious. I keep on forging forward. Nothing stops me. When somebody says you have to do this to be successful, right? I'll make the evaluation. Ah, this is good information. And I'll go out and I'll actually do it. I get my hands dirty and I get involved. Um, I surround myself with good people and I can make things happen. I think that's really the secret to my success. And I buy lots of programs. Um, I'm like easy, one of the easiest guys actually to sell a product to because as long as you show me there's some value there and I'm going to get some nuggets of information, I'm actually going to get my hands on it and be able to do it with you. You're going to hold my hand a little bit and show me what to do. I'm in. I'll buy it. So I actually met Tim on one of those classes and we became friends. Um, he was a media guy and I'm like, man, this guy could definitely be part of my team. And then we hit it off and then we put this program together. So we should do something together. And now we put this together. Then he introduced me to Bruce and Bruce has got even more stuff. So without further ado, um, this guy is responsible for $500 million. All right. All right. In ad revenue. All right. He has done that's, that's half a billion dollars as B with a, a billion. That's how much business this guy has done. Um, he knows how to write the ads. He knows how to make the brand. He knows how to put it all together. All right. And he is here for you today. And like I said, I don't want to, you know, I can go on and on telling you all the stuff he's done, but a half a billion dollars, right? That's a guy who knows what he's doing. Plus he's got this golden voice, as you'll see in a second. No, so I don't. <laughs> la ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Tim Burt. Oh, now when you set it up like that, golly, the golden voice. Now I got to do this whole, this voice the entire time. No, thank you, Rich. Uh, it is great to be here. I know we have a lot of people watching and listening probably all over the world. Actually, I know all over the world. Some of which uh, I know some of you I'm meeting for the first time, but either way, it is great to be here. And I want to thank you in advance for spending time with us today. Now, if you own a business or you do any marketing for a business, you're going to get a lot out of this presentation. Now, if you work for an MLM or you have a franchise, this really won't help you because your marketing is already being done for you. So how many of you know deep down that your business could be doing better than it is today? Maybe you want you know, more time, more money, freedom, doesn't matter. Whatever the reason is that you got into business for yourself, if you're not getting it, we got to address that ASAP. So if you're sick and tired of watching your competition steal your sales, stay with us for about the next 60 minutes or so. We're going to show you how to get a massive advantage over your competition. What are we going to show you today? Well, I'm not going to show you how to create yet another Facebook ad. Okay. So this is a little deeper. The name of the game for you and your business is exposure. Look, you can have the greatest product or service in the world, but if nobody knows about you, then as Mark Cuban likes to say, all you have is a hobby with business cards. So imagine having a simple marketing system in place for your business that can have people think of you first so you can sell more of your stuff. Then get seen by more people online 
offline TV, radio, podcasts, etc. So you are recognized as the expert in your niche and be able to repeat this system whenever you want. Today, we're going to show you the pieces of this rock solid proven system. Now, here's the truth. Before you can have sales, you got to have traffic and you want more traffic. You need more traffic. And the fastest way to get massive traffic is through massive exposure. It is our goal to get you and your business that exposure that you want and you deserve. You ever hear or see somebody being interviewed on TV or radio and you thought, they're an idiot. They don't know what they're talking about. I should be on there. How did this clown get on TV? Well, here's the truth. No matter what you think about these people, they used a system to get on TV and radio and podcasts and magazines. And here's their secret. This is a big part of their devious overall marketing plan. And we're going to show you this system today. In its simplest form, it really does boil down to this. It's solid marketing plus public relations equals more exposure. Business owners just like you have their marketing dialed in, and they are doing this every day around the world. They're the ones getting on TV, radio, podcasts, etc. So why can't that be you? I mean, here's the good news. You can do this too, a lot easier than you may think. Now, this is really important. Would you build a million dollar mansion on shifting sand? Of course not. You need a solid foundation. So if your business is the mansion, your marketing is the foundation. If your marketing is not solid, then you're not talking to the right people. I'm sure you can still make sales, get on TV and radio. It's just going to take you a lot longer and cost you a lot more money. I mean, I'm not talking about blowing up your business and starting over at square one. In most cases, this means simply tweaking what you already have and filling in the gaps in your foundation. So today I'll be showing you ways to build or solidify your marketing foundation. Then my good friend, Bruce Serban, who I call the PR czar, he will be here to give you ways to get more exposure on TV, radio, podcasts, magazines, and other mass media outlets. So the first thing I'd like you to do, once you get a blank sheet of paper and something to write with so you can take notes or type it out, once you take that paper and I want you to write at the top 10 marketing truths and then just number them down individually i'm going to give them to you here in just a minute okay so let me ask you are you sick and tired of wasting money on marketing that doesn't work would you like people to think about you and your business first and not your competitors and would you like to build a solid marketing foundation if so just type yes in that chat box for me if you would i love people that are active in the chat box now, if you want to achieve those things, there is a process that you must follow. Rarely does anyone become a household name by accident. I mean, honestly, you have a better chance of winning the Powerball. So if you want solid marketing and massive exposure, we call this the PA system. First, I get you market, your marketing positioned properly so you can start talking to the right people and more of them. Then Bruce shows you step-by-step -step that you can be seen where most business owners can only dream of. That's TV, radio, publications. We call this the PA system because that stands for public address system. Every bit of marketing that you do addresses the public. So when you get on a PA system, it amplifies and makes your voice louder. And it will make your marketing work for you, not against you. We'll outline it for you here in depth in just a moment. But first, if you've never heard of me before... Ladies and gentlemen, here is a mercifully brief introduction to me. My name is Tim Burt. I have more than 30,000 ads to my name around the world, which have sold over half a billion dollars in products and services. And I'm known as America's number one marketing strategist. Spent 25 years in the radio industry, 16 of those with CBS radio, where I was responsible for about $40 million of ads a year. I've written commercials for Toyota, Burger King, Jack's Link, South African Airways, Tyson Foods, other Fortune 500 companies. But the vast majority of my work has been with small businesses and entrepreneurs all over the world, just yeah. like you. Now, I walked away from CBS in 2017 to focus on my marketing agency. Here's a pic of me holding my final timesheet ever for CBS and corporate America. I went on to write three award-winning books. And before COVID, I was public speaking at business events around the world. And now businesses of all sizes ask me to help them with their marketing. 
and radio and TV station sales departments, I work with them to get them the best results for them and their clients. So if you really want to know more than that about me, you can just read the about page on my website, marketingwithtim.com. Now, let's talk about you. I don't know about you or your business, but if you feel like you're not headed in the right direction or you want some better results from your marketing, let's get rid of some old beliefs. Number one, you probably believe that marketing equals sales. Uh, not necessarily. See, the average buying cycle today takes 22 days and 32 touches. What we are trying to do is to speed that up. Regardless of your business, you always want to be on the fastest path to the cash. Remember, you can have the greatest thing in the world, but if nobody knows about it, what do you really have? So I want you to write this down. Marketing does not equal sales. Marketing must generate traffic first. Traffic leads to sales. I know that sounds basic. There's a lot of business owners that I've talked to around the world over the years that they forget this. In fact, when I was at CBS, business owners would come into my studio to record commercials. And I'd ask them, why do you want a new ad? Most of them would have said, well, they're getting leads, but they were unqualified leads. You know, for example, home builders or car dealers that were getting leads who had no money or bad credit or both. And the business owners wanted to blame us. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the commercial's fault. People were hearing it, but it was just the wrong people. Here's the truth. Your marketing determines the quality of your leads. When your marketing attracts unqualified leads, that's what you're going to get. So qualified or not, when your ad brings you a lead, the commercial has done its job. You know, once the lead gets to you, it's up to you to make the sale. You know, the only time that your ad is going to make a sale immediately is if you're selling something at a crazy low price. You know, for example, if you heard or saw a commercial that said, hey, today we're selling Beats headphones for $20. Well, you don't have to do a whole lot of arm twisting there, right? But here's the dirtiest little secret of all when you spend money on marketing. Facebook. YouTube, Google, radio, TV stations, print media, all these companies, they don't really care if your ad succeeds. I mean, they, they do one thing. They sell media time and space. They don't tell you how to create an effective ad that's going to sell. They only care that you pay them. They only do what you tell them to as long as it's legal. I know you're thinking, look, Tim, I mean, marketing is expensive. Well, not today. I mean, how much does it cost you to put something on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or Pinterest? I mean, my good friend and colleague, Mindy Hart in Kansas City, she got almost 30 million views on one Facebook post for free. To get your message in front of a lot of people can cost you from very little to nothing at all. If you have an email list, how much does it cost you to send out emails? Do you have a podcast that you can run your own ads on? for your own stuff? What about ads for your own stuff on your own website? Here's the truth. You can get in front of a lot more people right now than you can imagine. The name of the game here is traffic. Wouldn't you like to know where your untapped traffic is right now? So what, have a lot of, what do us business owners do when we think that something is really expensive? Oh, we just DIY it, right? I mean, after all, you know your business better than anyone else. Marketing should be easy. I'm here to tell you, marketing is hard and it is exactly inexact. And thanks to the internet, it is changing all the time. So here's what I want you to write down. Good marketing is not DIY. Stop trying to be creative. I can't teach you how to be creative. People say they hate boring commercials. Guess what? Boring commercials convert like crazy and they can sell a ton. Maybe you recall a commercial a number of years ago for the headache medicine called Head On. The entire ad said one phrase over and over again. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. That's it. They ran those ads for years. They were in people's faces so much that head-on actually had to create another commercial that had people come on camera and say, head-on, apply directly to the forehead. Head-on, I hate your commercials, but I love your product. These were so popular, they actually turned into memes. This is the level we are aiming for here. Yes, boring ads can and do work.
Now, look, I know this may sound weird from a guy who has more than 30,000 commercials to his name, but I actually despise the word creative. Here's why. Most of the bad commercials that you see in here are, air quotes, creative. Oh, they're entertaining and they're funny and sometimes you laugh, but they don't really sell that much, if at all. Think about Super Bowl ads. Yeah, you're laughing, but at the same time, if there were no sales, that business just burned millions of dollars in cash. I know what you're saying, but really, Tim, I mean, how hard can it be to write a commercial? I mean, you've heard and seen a bunch of ads over the years. How hard can this be? Uh, this hard. The average person will still read, hear, or see 10,000 ads per day. And this is according to Forbes in 2017. Here's the long-term psychological effect of that. You fall into the, I want to be different, just like them trap. You see or hear an ad that you think is really creative, and then your instinct is to copy it. I mean, it got your attention, right? Here are a few reasons why you shouldn't and why this is dangerous. Number one, you could actually end up in court. You're stealing someone else's intellectual property. Another problem, the audience gets confused. I mean, imagine if Rich started running ads that said, hypnosis, just do it. You think Nike would have a problem with that? Probably. <laughs> Here's a real world example for you. Are you familiar with the Dos Equis most interesting man in the world ads from a few years ago? Had great phrases in it like, he can parallel park a train. His passport requires no photograph. And mosquitoes don't bite him out of respect. All kinds of statements like that. Really crazy. Wildly popular. Well, there's a soft drink company here in St. Louis called Ski that actually aired a radio commercial a few years ago that used phrases just like this. It was, he flies his private jet under the St. Louis arch backwards. It was all just, it was ridiculous. And the entire time during that ad, the audience is thinking, is this an ad for Dos Equis? But it was an ad for this soft drink called Ski. So who exactly is paying for this ad? Because I can tell you, the audience ain't thinking about Ski. They're thinking about Dos Equis. So here's a pro tip for you. Don't inadvertently help your competitors. <laughs> Going the DIY route is at best a risky proposition. Marketing changes all the time. Google admits they change their algorithm twice a day. Do you have time to keep up with all that? I mean, at some point, you've probably created a DIY ad, got no results, and you say to yourself, well, that didn't work. So where do you turn for help? Oh, you go where everybody goes. The free online library, YouTube. You think I can get marketing advice on YouTube? Well, you can, but is there any guarantee that it's any good? Here's why you shouldn't get marketing advice from YouTube. Number one, you get guidance that really may not apply to your business, but they lead you to believe that it will. It just turns out to be bad advice, which costs you time and money. You get incomplete advice. Let's face it, the world's top marketers are not going to give away their secret sauce for free. And number three, you get advice that could land you in legal trouble. Some experts, maybe you've heard this, they say, well, just grab a popular picture and use that in your ad. Uh, not so smart. I'm pretty sure that uh, these guys didn't get permission from Warner Brothers to use Batman in their ad for some funnel software. Highly doubt Disney said it was okay to use Toy Story in this ad, and Jerry Seinfeld probably did not give his permission to promote audiobooks. You've probably also heard the terrible advice, well, just use a popular song in your ad. Well, a few years ago, some clueless ad agency decided they would use the Beastie Boys song, Girls, in an ad for a thing called Goldie Blocks. Problem was, Beastie Boys said for years that they would never license their music for any commercials ever. And you can see what happened there. The bottom line, if you don't have the rights to use a song, you can't. Now, the good news is there are hundreds of websites that have royalty-free music and pictures that you can use. So write this down. YouTube does not have all the answers. Your marketing must be customized for your business. It's the only way you're going to stand out. So you go down the YouTube rabbit hole, you get a bunch of advice and bad advice, and you hear some experts say, well, just, just share your story. Just share my story. That's what I'm going to do. How many of you are trying to get leads and sales by just sharing your story? Look, I know this is going to be hard for some of you to hear, but in most cases, people really don't care. 
So write this down. My story is not my sales message. Let's say you need to buy a drill. When you're deciding on which drill to buy, do you care who invented the drill or how that drill was constructed? Do you care how long that company's been in business? Probably not. As the legendary Zig Ziglar said, people don't need a quarter inch drill, they need a quarter inch hole. So if you want more leads, you gotta stop selling the drill and start selling the hole. If you now realize all this time you've been selling the drill and not the hole, put a one in that chat box for me. So you've DIY'd your ad, you got bad advice from YouTube, you've been selling the drill, not the hole, you get no results, so you just go nuclear and you think, you know what, I'm just going to tell everybody everything that I do. No, 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 no. Your marketing should be a business card, not a brochure. Here's the truth. When you try to tell them everything, they will remember nothing. And when you try to sell them everything, they will buy nothing. So write this down. You want to advertise one thing at a time. Here are some real world examples of this. There are 606 million things available for sale right now on Amazon. The average Walmart has 25,000 products in each of their stores every day. McDonald's has 92 items on their menu. Guess what they all have in common in their marketing? They all advertise one thing at a time. So my question to you is, what is the one thing you or your business is known for? At the end of the month, if you're not selling the one thing that you want to be known for, your messaging is way off target. We got to get that fixed fast. So you buy some ads on Facebook or wherever, and now you think, well, I paid for marketing. Everybody's going to see it now. Uh, no, I got some bad news for you. Uh, here's the truth. People pay to avoid your ads, and you pay to avoid other people's ads, too. Don't believe me? Guess where we all live now? Subscription City. How many of you have Netflix or Disney Plus? Maybe a music streaming service like Pandora or Spotify. What's the one big benefit of those services? You don't have to suffer through commercials. Oh, but guess what? It gets worse. If you have ad blockers installed on your online browsers, how frustrating is it to visit a website? All of a sudden, an ad pops up that you can't turn off. That's why you get an ad blocker on your, on your browser. How many of you have practically poked a hole through your phone or broken a mouse trying to click that skip ad button fast enough on YouTube? We've all done it. You want to get in front of more people? It's real simple. You got to start thinking of marketing in this way. If it has your name or your logo on it, it's a commercial. Stop thinking in terms of a commercial only being a five second, 10, 15 second, 30 second audio or video. Remember earlier when I said the average person takes in about 10,000 ads a day? Well, you may not think of these as commercials, but they are. A logo on a coffee cup. A logo on food. An upsell on a website or inside of an app. In, in a game you play on your phone. A social media post or an email. If it's got your name on it, it's a commercial. How about this? Here's a screenshot from a professional baseball game. There are eight different commercials in that photo. Count them. Lexus, State Farm, the LA Angels, Angels.com, Pachanga Casino, Funai Yamada, at Angels on Twitter, and look, even on the T-Mobile, that's a superimposed graphic of T-Mobile on the pitcher's mound. They do that with, with green screen stuff. It's crazy. But guess what? Baseball wants to do more. How many commercials are there? I've counted 43 in just that one shot. That's a World Series game from a couple of years ago. Yet the average person doesn't think. Think of those two to get as much of it as possible in every area we can. And we will show you how to do that in the PA system. So write this down. One ad is never enough. Look, there's a lot of noise out there, and you're probably wondering, how do I stand out? Don't worry. Every business goes through this, and we will discuss that in a moment. So to recap, you've probably gone the DIY route in your marketing. 
You scoured YouTube for advice. You've been selling the drill, not the hold. You've paid for ads telling about everything that you do, which wasted your money. You shared your story. You're not getting any traction or traffic. Well, you just think, you know what? My marketing is absolutely fine. It's not my problem. People are cheap or broke. That's what people, that's what you think. No, they're not. Money is always flowing, even in an economic downturn. Here's the truth. You might be losing sales and contracts because your competition's marketing and messaging might just be better than yours. So write this down. People are not cheap or broke. In fact, let me prove it to you. According to this article in Business Insider, in 2020, so many houses were sold, we may actually ran out or run out of houses. Here in the U.S. just a few months ago, we had the biggest Black Friday weekend in history. And in the third quarter alone of 2020, right in the middle of COVID, Tesla sold almost $9 billion in vehicles. That's with a B. $3 billion a month. People are not cheap or broke. You got to start thinking of your marketing this way. When this battleship fires a, an unguided bullet or missile from 21 miles away, which it can, and they have that barrel pointed just one degree off, they will miss their target by at least 100 yards or more. So if you're one degree off target, it creates all kinds of headaches. You end up talking to the wrong people. They may be led to believe that you do something that you don't or you won't, and then you lose sales because you're not speaking their language. Being off target by as little as one degree means you watch your competitor sales explode and yet you're screaming in your head, why are you buying from them? I have the better product. I have the better service. I have the answer to your problem. But they don't know that because they're a hundred yards away. So if you're ready to make that tiny, tiny one degree shift, the first thing you have to do is gain clarity of mission. Now, what do I mean? This all starts with knowing why you're doing what you're doing. This is critically important. So I want you to write this down. Clarity of mission. What is my clarity of mission? Most people call this a mission statement, but it's really the reason that you got into business in the first place. You must have a guiding principle that drives the company forward every day. Without it, you're losing time, you lose money, and you waste a lot of energy. So your clarity of mission statement should drive every single marketing decision that you make because it keeps you on course and prevents you from doing things that you shouldn't. Here are some examples. I go back, go back to Amazon. Amazon's mission statement. We want people to be able to buy anything, anywhere, anytime. Here's Nike's. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Bet you didn't know that was Nike's mission, mission statement. <laughs> PayPal, to build the web's most convenient, secure, cost-effective payment solution. That is their mission statement. Now, you may not know that I have a cousin who is a real-life Italian supermodel for decades. Her name is Clarissa Burt. I'm helping her with her magazine. It's called In the Limelight. Her clarity of mission is this. It's Oprah, Martha, Clarissa. Every marketing decision she makes fits under that description. Your clarity of mission statement is for your internal use only. Public doesn't need to know about this, but you must define your clarity of mission. Write it down, put it on your wall, put it in your phone, repeat it to yourself every day. If you have employees, do they know what your mission statement is? Your clarity of mission? When you get this in focus, you're going to save a lot of time, a lot of energy, effort, and money. So once you got that locked in, the next thing you're going to do, send a simple, consistent signal. I'm talking about the slogan for your business that's going to sell for you 24-7. Having a slogan for you and your business shows that you can solve their problem and it positions your business where nobody can touch you. This is really the public face of your clarity of mission. For example, jump back to Nike. What's Nike's slogan? Just do it. What about this one? KFC. Finger licking good. How about this one? Built Ford tough, right? So how did you know those? One simple way, through constant, consistent, relentless repetition, also known as exposure. But what if your business is just you? This is absolutely critical. 
Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha. Bruce Serbin, who you'll hear from just a minute, the PR czar. Here's a guy I'm working with in Brisbane, Australia. His name is Tal Durhi. Tal runs a meditation and spa center called Within You Ritual House. Slogan I came up for him, ancient healing from a modern mystic. So why do you need a slogan? Because a simple, strong slogan brands you and puts you at the top of their mental contact list. People don't need to search for somebody that does what you do. They're going to think of you first, almost instinctively. And here's the biggest benefit. Do you think that TV and radio stations want to talk with Steve Cream Cheese, the plumber, or Denver's fastest and no crack plumber, Steve Cream Cheese? You want free media exposure? Get a slogan. It goes a long way. Get that thing locked in. And once you get it, don't change it. The only person who's ever going to get bored with it is you. The audience will not. Every time you serve up an ad anywhere to anyone, there's somebody seeing you for the first time. So how many of you have a slogan that might need some help? And how many of you don't even have a slogan? Now you, you realize that you need one. If you do, type I do in the chat box. Now, once you have your clarity of mission locked in, and you've got that slogan that's going to sell for you 24-7. It's the final piece today. You have to talk to the right audiences and keep talking to them, as I call this ready, aim, fire, repeat. It's a true story. I was doing some seminars in Maputo, Mozambique in 2013. If you don't know where that is, there it is on the map, the southern tip of Africa. And... I, I was invited to a, a, a restaurant and the owner named Luesh wanted me to help him out. He had a restaurant right across the street from the beach of Mozambique Bay. So we sit down to talk about his marketing strategy. And he said, this is a fine dining restaurant. I have a great chef. He cooks the freshest seafood. People just, but people just want to come in here and they just want to drink. They just want to get drunk. I said, well, okay. When, when you walked in and, and you turned to the right, you were in the dining area of, of the restaurant. There was dark wood paneling on the walls, very nice tablecloths, fancy chairs, very, very exquisite. And when you walked in and you went to the left, which was nice, it was the bar. It wasn't as nice as the dining room though. I mean, it was still nice. So the layout wasn't the problem. So I turned to him and I said, Luesh, walk with me. So we go outside, we go across the street to the beach and I turned him around and I said, Luesh, look at your building. Guess what color it was? It was pink. And it had these awnings, these, these awnings with beer company logos all over it. And they had some weird cartoon logo thing in the window. I said, Luesh, they don't know this is a fine dining restaurant. It looks like a tourist trap. This is not some place I'm going to go for a romantic dinner. All he had to do was paint the outside of his building to really almost any other color except pink. All he had to do was make a one degree shift. See, his marketing was attracting unqualified leads. Remember, the average buying cycle takes 22 days and 32 touches. And when you send the right message to the right people, that 22 days can be dramatically shortened. You just need to know where your audience is and get in front of them with an irresistible sales message and repeat. So if you wrote those 10 things down that we just covered, I want you to look at your sheet. It should look like this. Number one, marketing does not equal sales. Good marketing is not DIY. YouTube doesn't have all the answers. My story isn't my sales message. Advertise one thing at a time. One ad is never enough. People are not cheap or broke. You got to have your clarity of mission locked in. Send a simple, consistent signal. Get that slogan for yourself locked in and keep talking to the right audiences. This is going to help you a lot when you're about to do any kind of marketing anywhere. So once you've implemented these things into your marketing and your foundation for your mansion has been set, it is time to get you some exposure. And for that, I will turn things over to the PR czar, Bruce Serban. Bruce, as we say in radio and television, Bruce, take it away. Thank you so much, Tim. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. I've never seen my face next to Warren Buffett. That's the first time anybody's <laughs> ever done that. Now I, I just get the bank account to look like that. Man, we do that. Hey, thanks, Tim. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's, it's great to be with you today. Great job, Tim. 
So how many of you would like to be recognized as the expert in your industry? Could your business benefit from appearing on TV, radio, podcasts, and in magazines? Do you want a proven plan that can get you this type of massive media exposure? If that's you, give me a yes in the chat box. Have you ever seen someone being interviewed on TV as an expert and you thought, well, why aren't they talking to me? I know much more than this idiot. How come I'm not the one there? Well, let me ask you, why aren't you being interviewed? If you want more people to see you as the go-to person, you deserve to be recognized. And here's the truth. Getting on TV or appearing on almost any type of mass media is actually quite easy. But unless you have someone walk you through the process, it's practically impossible. Now, here's what works in your favor. Right now, and always actually, these media outlets, they always need, they're always looking for experts, people just like you. But you can't just demand airtime or a page in a magazine. You have to know how to play their game. So who do you contact? Do you just call the TV station, send an email, and to whom exactly? Even if you somehow contacted the right person, what do you say to them? You know the phrase, you only have one chance to make a first impression? Well, if you blow it, they're not going to talk to you again. But here's the good news. In the next 30 minutes or so, I'm going to tell you proven strategies to get you and your business on TV, on the radio, on podcasts, and other media outlets. And I'm going to show you exactly what it takes. Now, if that sounds good to you, give me another yes in the chat box. As Tim said, my name is Bruce Serban. I'm an eight-time national award-winning publicist, media trainer, and author. I've worked with celebrities like Nick Cannon, Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank, and the band One Direction. I've also worked with Fortune 500 companies like Office Depot, Panasonic, and Bed Bath & Beyond. But I don't just work with celebrities or corporations. In fact, most of my clients are entrepreneurs, authors, and experts in their field just like you. I don't claim to be the smartest person in the world, not even close, but I know how to get people just like you on TV or featured in virtually any type of media. And this is what I do every single day for my clients. My not so glamorous television career began in the news department at the Fox owned TV station down in Tampa, Florida. After a one year internship, I was immediately hired as a news assignment editor. That means I got to decide what stories were on the news that night. And because of my years of experience doing that, I know what TV and radio stations are looking for. I know what sells and what doesn't. And I know how to get past those newsroom gatekeepers because that was me. I was one of them. After that, I became a news producer. That meant I got to write the scripts that the news anchors would read on the evening news. And then I hit the big time. I got to do on-air reporting, which was my dream growing up. And there you see me at 21 years old, and I look like a little kid. <laughs> I missed the full head of hair, and, and yeah, I was a little thinner then too. But anyway, after five years of covering murders and car accidents and shootings and drownings and funerals, this is pretty depressing, isn't it? I, I decided one day I had enough. I had to get back on the other side of the camera. My time as a reporter taught me one important thing, and it's that every TV reporter, every radio host, and every media outlet is looking for it. You know what that one thing is? They're looking for experts. When a major story broke, we needed experts to interview and answer questions. Things like, well, why did this happen? How did it happen? What are the consequences of this? If something bad happened, how can we prevent this in the future? The people that we interviewed were instantly recognized as the expert. They were trustworthy, credible, smart, and it greatly enhanced their reputation. But the biggest thing they got was an implied endorsement. If the public thinks you're an expert, you are. You can buy advertising and be on TV, but that doesn't make you the expert. And you can't just walk into a TV station and demand that they put you on the air. Being interviewed as an expert isn't available to everyone unless you know how to play their game. And inside the PA system, Tim and I show you how to play and how to win their little game. 
Remember, it's so powerful. If the public thinks you're an expert, you are. Now here, let me show you some of the people who we've taught how to play that game. This is Bernice Flygirl Armor. She is America's first African-American female combat pilot. Bernice wrote this book, Zero to Breakthrough. Now that's an awesome title that Bernice has, and it really helps you a lot when you have a title like that. Now next to Bernice, this is a guy by the name of Colin Christopher. In fact, maybe some of you know him because I know we have some hypnotists here. He's a stage hypnosis performer, and he's also a clinical hypnotherapist. He also wrote this book, Success Through Manipulation. Now, next to Colin, it's a woman by the name of Dana Priyanka Hammond. She's another client of ours. She is a human trafficking survivor, and her story is just incredible. She was thrown in a rice sack at four years old and abducted from her family. She spent years in the foster care system, and today she's on a global mission to find her birth parents. You see her book there titled Abandoned But Not Forgotten. Finally, on the right, that's a guy by the name of Jay Herring. He's a former senior officer with Carnival Cruise Lines, and he wrote this book, The Truth About Cruise Ships. All of them are experts with great stories and great insights, but nobody knew who they were. And then they started working with us. Now, here are the results of highly targeted media campaigns for each of them. Our fighter pilot, Bernice, she got on CNN, she got on MSNBC and some other big channels. Colin, our hypnotist, I mean, we could not keep this guy off of TV shows. He was on global TV in Canada. There's another big one down in Houston and, and so many others. All the TV stations, they loved his act. They loved having him come in and do all the funny things and hypnotize the hosts and, and all that fun stuff. And then the print and online outlets asked him about the more serious side of hypnotherapy. Now, Jay, our cruise ship captain, he appeared on CBS This Morning, CNN, and a lot of others. Finally, our human trafficking expert, Dana, she's been on some big morning TV and radio shows all around the country. So can you picture yourself there? What could that type of exposure do for your business? Now, keep in mind, those people that you just saw, they didn't pay to get interviewed on TV. This happened organically. Remember, if the public thinks you're an expert, you are. You might be thinking, but I'm not a fighter pilot. I'm not a cruise ship captain, but that's irrelevant. Remember, every journalist is looking for experts in every field, including yours. So when you're on TV or high profile outlets, nobody can question your credentials. How does that translate to future sales? Well, it's pretty simple actually. If people buy from people they trust, then get interviewed on TV gives you instant credibility. Now, let me show you how important this instant credibility really is. This is Barbara Corcoran from Shark Tank, one of the well, most well-known entrepreneurs on the planet. Now, do you know that Barbara almost lost it all? In 1981, her company was on the verge of bankruptcy. And she knew she had to do something to get people talking about her company. But at the same time, Barbara noticed a trend. Apartment prices in New York. People would have to move out and the market would have just literally collapsed. Now, Barbara immediately wrote a letter about this trend and sent it to every journalist in New York City. Now, two weeks later, on the front page of the real estate section of the New York Times, this article shows up and the headline screams, New York City apartment prices nearly quintupled, according to the Corcoran Group. Barbara timed her message with the news. It gave her instant credibility, and it's what she credits with saving her business. She says publicity was the big kahuna. And I'll tell you more about this strategy in just a minute. Now, if you're ready for some really super ninja level info, grab something to write with or type on and take notes because here we go. How many of you have thought to yourself, you know, I'll just never get on TV because I'm not good enough. It's just simply not true, but you're not alone. I want you to write this down. I deserve more exposure. Say it again. I deserve more exposure. See this guy right here. This is Eric Rittmeyer. He is a former U.S. Marine. 
He's an expert in mental toughness and an emotional intelligence trainer. He's also the author of the book, The Emotional Marine. Now, Eric came to me. I'll never forget this. He says, Bruce, I'll never be able to get on TV. I'm just a Marine. I can barely read or write. How could a guy like this have no confidence? I was trying to figure that out. I was asking myself that like literally over and over again. I mean, he's just an average guy who wrote a book. He leveraged it into a ton of TV and media appearances, but it wasn't always this way for Eric. I'll never forget when Eric went through our PA system, we packaged him up and then we started getting him on TV. And today, Eric does on average, no lie, about three TV interviews each week. Yes, each week. Last year, he did almost 150 TV interviews, and he's already on track to meet or beat that this year. If you don't believe me, check it out for yourself. He posts all of his TV interviews on his website and on his YouTube page. Now, here's the craziest part. Eric does these from home because right now it is one of the best times to be interviewed on TV shows because they're all being done on Skype and Zoom. COVID didn't stop TV and radio stations. They didn't just shut down because of the pandemic. They still need to fill the airtime. But here's the great part. You can do your TV segments anywhere you have an internet connection, even from your car. And I've actually had some clients do them from their cars. Now, we show you how to do this in the PA system. But if you believe that you aren't good enough to be on TV or that you'll never be able to do it, it's just not true. Just like Eric, you can do this too. Now, how many of you would call yourself an expert at something? Doesn't matter what it is, but if you consider yourself an expert, type in I am in the chat box. Because if people pay you for a service or a product, then guess what? You are an expert. When you turn on any national cable news outlet, let's say it's CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, take your pick, you see interviews all day long with people and they're there commenting on news stories. It doesn't matter if you agree with them or not, they're still viewed as an expert. But this just isn't on television, right? Look at your local newspaper. You see quotes and articles from people who are, again, they're experts. Now, if you want publicity, remember, journalists need expert sources in every category, including yours. But you have to make the first move, and I'll give you some strategies in just a few minutes. Now, when I say every niche or category, I mean every category. In fact, the smaller, the better. This is my client. Her name's Sharon Schweitzer. Now, she's an etiquette expert, right? Think Miss Manners. Now, this past holiday season, she was all over TV talking about party etiquette. And with the presidential inauguration, we shifted her to focus on political etiquette and how to handle those difficult conversations. Sharon doesn't have any superpowers. She just shares her wealth of knowledge and people love her. You can do this too. It all starts by being that expert that you already are. That's what journalists are looking for. So if you give them what they want, you're going to get more exposure. You're going to get those media opportunities. Now, so far, this doesn't sound too hard, does it? First, you have to believe that you deserve to be on TV, radio, podcast, magazines, and what's the key to getting media appearances? By being the expert that you already are. If you're getting this, type in got it in the chat box. Now, remember earlier I said we have to play their game to get you big time media exposure? We do that by not writing press releases. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Have you ever heard people say, well, you need to write a press release? You are not going to write any more press releases if big time media is your ultimate goal. You see, a press release has one purpose, and that is to announce something, usually something stupid and meaningless. For example, you'll see companies, they'll send out a press release to announce a new CEO or to brag about a merger or an acquisition or, or maybe their quarterly earnings. But guess what? Nobody cares. Write this down, no more press releases. And if you call a PR firm and they say that they're going to write tons of press releases for you, just hang up, just run as fast as you can because the press release is the fastest way to get ignored. Now, this is a true story. Whenever press releases would arrive at the TV station when I was working there back in my day, you know what we would do with them? 
we turn them into paper airplanes to see whose plane could fly the farthest. Or we'd play trash can basketball. And I was really good at those three pointers. Trust me, we had stacks and stacks of them every day and they're worthless and they get ignored. Now the people you see getting interviewed on TV, they don't write press releases. So what do you send them? What is the answer? I want you to write this down. You write a pitch. A pitch is simply a short email that has three key parts to it. First, it's a personalized to the journalist by name, or it will reference their show or the name of their media outlet. Secondly, it's focused on a real news story. It can't be promotional hype. It can't be anything self-serving. It doesn't come off like a commercial. The third and final part, it offers the journalist that expert voice. In this case, that's you who can explain the news story in detail. Now, I can't show you how to write a pitch today, but I really cover this in depth in the PA system. In fact, I get super, super detailed and I walk you step-by-step step how to write a great pitch. Plus, you actually see some real world examples of pitches that I've written for clients that scored big time national media coverage. Now, this is possibly the most important key to media success. I want you to write this down because it's that important. Time your message with the news. That's right, time your message with the news. Remember the story I told you earlier about Barbara Corcoran? I say that the best source doesn't always get the interview. It's the quickest one who does because journalists need sources fast, like yesterday. If they can't get you when they need you, they're going to find someone else, another expert in your field who is your competition. Now in this game, this media game that we play, seconds count. I know people that have lost appearances on CNN, the Today Show, Fox News, and others simply because they reacted too late. As soon as the story breaks that you're the expert in, you've got to start pitching those media outlets immediately. See, when you act fast, here's what can happen for you. This is a guy by the name of Seth Kaplan. He is an airline analyst. Now, whenever there's any breaking stories involving airlines, it could be a plane crash, price hikes, any of that stuff, he gets called first. I've worked with Seth for more than 10 years, and he's been on every big show you can imagine. He's been on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, CNN, CNBC. He was even on the BBC, and he has won us tons and tons of industry awards. But you want to know something funny? His wife, Dina, she hates me. She literally can't stand me because a few months ago, they're out to dinner, right? They're having a nice romantic dinner. They get a babysitter for their daughter, and I call him up, and I said, Seth, you got to run home. CNBC's calling. They want to get you on in, in an hour. Can you do it? And he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. But here, here's the thing. Anytime that there's a major news story involving the airlines, guess what happens? Seth and I, we dominate because the second a news story breaks, Seth is on it. And when you time your message with the news, that's what will help you secure more opportunities. And, and by the way, in case you're wondering, he did bail out on dinner. He did go and do the CNBC interview, which was good for his business, maybe not as good for his relationship. But anyway, all right. Now, we've been focused heavily on getting TV. And, you know, I would say for most of the people that I work with, I think that's their main goal. And I, I get that, right? Because it's 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 fun. It's sexy. It, it's glamorous. But you know what? You can use these Same in ways that TV does, and they can even do other things like help your Google search rankings. I, I want you to write this down. Article is a sneaky trick that most people don't know about print and online media. I'm talking about places like Forbes, the Wall Street Journal, the Huffington Post, Business Insider, big websites and magazines like that. Now, guess what? They all need content too. Most people think that these guys have a ton of reporters, so why would they want my article? Now, yes, they do have reporters, they have a staff, but there aren't enough hours in the day for them to write absolutely everything. And this is where you come in. When you give them a well-written and timely article because you're the expert, 
you can score a lot of big time media opportunities and you're helping them out at the same time. I've used this trick for years for my clients and I've gotten them exposure in those big magazines, but there are thousands and thousands of smaller online and print outlets all over the country and they desperately need content. These outlets will not only print your article, but they'll post them online where they live forever. And that can dra dramatically help your search rankings. There's an easy to follow three-step formula to do this right. And I show you exactly how to do that during the PA system. Now, how powerful are these articles? Here's an article I wrote a few years ago for Forbes.com. And I still get people who contact me because of it. I don't know all that much about Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber's music, but I can talk all day long about his reputation problems that he had way back when you know, he was a teenager, back in his younger days. And by the way, as you can see from this article, I predicted that he would save his reputation. And he did. He's really done a good job of that. Now, if you're thinking, this sounds great, but I'm in a very competitive niche, it doesn't matter. One of the biggest industries in the world is weight loss. Now, here you see Steve Siebel. He wrote this great book with a really polarizing title called Die Fat or Get Tough. Just that title alone got him tons of interviews, as you can see here. Steve also likes to say, I don't go on TV to sell books. I write books to get on TV. It's really powerful. Not only did he get a lot of TV interviews, he also got his articles featured in places like the Chicago Tribune, Yahoo.com, The Examiner, and many, many others. If you think your niche is too big, trust me, it isn't. And I will show you how to cut through the clutter in your industry. When you start getting this kind of exposure, it adds to your credibility. Look at all the logos you can add to your website. Plus, you can post those videos as proof. Remember, if the public thinks you're an expert, you are. The final key I want to leave you with today is this. Write this down. Start small. If you want to get on the Today Shows and the Good Morning Americas and CNNs, all the big shows out there, you have to work your way up to them. The only people who get on those big shows with no TV experiences are the eyewitnesses, the people who saw the plane crash, they heard the explosion or, or whatever it was. You have to show TV stations that you're an expert. And that means doing interviews in smaller cities and with magazines that you've probably never heard of. Get some experience and then go up from there. Think of yourself as a pro athlete. The first time you step onto the field isn't going to be to win the, the championship, right? You have to get the experience doing interviews and we'll show you how to do this in the PA system. In fact, we help you by doing practice interviews to sharpen your skills. Now, everybody, do me a favor. If you learned something new today, I want you to type, I did, in the chat box. Getting visibility on TV, radio, magazines, podcasts, it all comes down to these things. Believing that you deserve more exposure, being that expert, writing a pitch, timing your message with the news, remembering that articles work, and starting small. You can do this. Now, I know some of you are wondering how Tim and I can help you more. We've been talking about the PA system throughout our presentation today. And to give you the full breakdown, we say in the TV business, I'm going to throw it back to Tim in the studio up in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Great job. Great job. Um, let me tell you from personal experience that this system works. See, every year I critique the Super Bowl commercials during the game live on Facebook. Been doing it since like 2008 or six. I can't remember when I started. And as you can see here, Bruce got me 11 interviews, 11 talking about this year's uh, Super Bowl ads before the game. And these were interviews in Chicago, San Francisco, Toronto, Denver, New Orleans, Seattle, Edmonton, Calgary, many, many others. 11 in one week. This is what happens when you time your message with the news, as Bruce mentioned. And when you enroll in the PA system, Bruce will show you exactly how to do this. So see what happens when you get positioned correctly. Those media appearances, they're not too hard to get if you know what to do. So let me ask you, do you want more leads? Well, you need more exposure to more people. It's that simple. Now, you've heard us talking about the PA system throughout today's presentation. 
and here's how it can help you. First, let me tell you what the PA system is not. It is not 300 videos and PDFs that we throw at you and say, good luck, you're on your own, have fun. No, 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 you get 12 live group coaching calls with me and Bruce individually. And in each call, we're gonna go in depth on topics that we've covered here today and more that we didn't get to cover. You get seven calls with me and five with Bruce, and you're gonna be able to ask questions. You're always gonna be up to speed. And yes, they are recorded if you can't make them live. We literally walk you through each checkpoint. We hold your hand. Yeah, you're gonna get some recorded training videos before we even start the live calls. And that's what we go deeper with you on during those live calls. But I promise you, there is no junk, there's no filler, there's no outdated stuff that's not working anymore, no long-winded theories. You literally will look over our shoulder as we show you the same techniques that we use in our business every single day for our clients. So let me pull back the curtain for just a minute. Let me show you just part of what you're gonna get. Here's what you're gonna learn in just the first seven calls alone. Call number one, we're gonna do a deep dive on your clarity of mission, your, slogo, your lo uh, slogan, your logo. Plus I'm gonna give you some cheap or free tools to help you uh, to fix these areas as quickly as possible. Number two, this, is my, uh, this might be my favorite. I call it Mickey's magic map, lead magnets, and the two sales formulas that you need for more conversions. Number three, we're gonna refine your lead magnets. We're gonna talk about an effective website layout for you plus free or cheap online hacks to help you get a, big, a bigger audience. Then call number four, we cover the secret blueprint and some other marketing platforms that you should be using. And I also have a surprise special guest that shows up that night. Uh, night number five, writing headlines and ads for you the quick and dirty way. You say, oh, I'm not a copywriter. I'm gonna show you super simple ways to get this done fast that, that work. Night number six, how to run a Facebook and social media ads for basically pennies. That's not gonna bust your budget. And number seven, night, this is call number seven. Create, we're gonna create your marketing calendar and I'm gonna show you your personal top secret marketing weapon that you can use forever. I use it, Bruce uses it, still gets me leads to this day. That's just the first part. Then Bruce is going to show you exactly how to write a great pitch, what to wear on camera. We practice interviews and all, I mean, that's just not even scratching the surface. So the retail price on this is 2000 Not coaching calls and trainings. You're going to learn how small adjustments, just like the ones we talked about today, can equal big results for you. We're gonna talk about the right way to position your business so you can get more leads fast and how to pitch those TV and media people so you can get those appearances booked. Now, of course, that is not all you get. The PA system also comes with bonuses. Here's bonus number one. And your relationship with us really starts right here. Before the live calls, you really have to self-examine your business so we know what areas to address first. When you started your business, did you get a how to start your business packet in the mail? No, you didn't get that? Okay, that's why I came up with this thorough list of questions that every business owner needs to answer before they start. And it's a tune-up from time to time as well. Uh, I, I ask you questions like, do you have a backup of your website if you get hacked? Who has access to your social media channels? Is your logo properly formatted for printing? These are the same questions I ask all my clients before we do everything. And as you can see, it's called the preposterous checklist. It's thorough, comprehensive, and make sure you fill in any missing gaps in your business. I sent it to Bruce and he said there were things in there he never thought about. Right, Bruce? Remember that? I remember that. Still You're like, that. I didn't even think of this. And I also have a handful of videos to get you going immediately, which we walk through and you get every angle covered. And in fact, this is what we, like I just showed you, is what we cover on our first call. And as we discussed today, you know that there is nothing more expensive in marketing than guessing. Well, remember a few minutes ago when I said I can show you exactly where you should be marketing in really less than 30 seconds? Well, here it is. It is a tool I have devised. It's called the secret blueprint. There's a picture of me holding it. <laughs> what you do, you hang this on your wall in your office. And here's what it does. When your, your message and your offer is good to go, and you wanna know exactly where your audience is, you take a quick glance at the secret blueprint. It will show you exactly where you should and shouldn't be focusing your efforts. No more guessing, 
no more hoping. How much money and how many headaches is that going to save you? Now, if you live in the U.S., I will mail this to you for free. If you live outside of the U.S., you get a, a free a PDF download because COVID has caused all kinds of shipping problems. Value on this is $1,000. Now, let me send things back down to Bruce in beautiful, sunny, warm Florida to tell you about bonus number three. Thanks, Tim. So next bonus, you're going to get my wildly successful attracting media course. This is the same video training that everyone I showed you earlier used to get on TV, radio, and magazines, and so on. We cover how to write the pitch, get past the newsroom gatekeepers, and how to get more publicity for your book, your product, or your service, and a lot more. Then on our live calls together, I'm going to give you some really secret ninja level stuff that isn't in the course. You have access to this forever, and the value of that is $9.97. And I want to start getting you booked fast. So how about I give you three pitch templates to send out to the show producers to start getting booked? These are three of the exact same pitches that I send out to get my clients booked every day. All you do is fill in the name, your name, a few other details that I'll show you, and it's that simple. It's ready to send. If that would help you out, that's worth $500 on its own. But once you have your pitch ready to go, who do you send it to? Good question. Would you like a list of my contacts? To make this easier for you, I'm going to give you the direct email addresses of 200 radio and TV, per TV station producers all over the United States. You don't have to search who to contact. I've already done that for you. That alone is a $5,000 value. And finally, because of COVID, most TV stations, as we mentioned earlier, they're doing their interviews on Zoom. So if you want to look and sound your best on Zoom interviews, Tim has taken his years of broadcasting experience and he put together a quick video called Zoom Hacks, How to Rock Your TV Interviews. This shows you how to transform virtually any space in your home into a broadcast quality area for your interviews. And, and I watched this video and there were things that I didn't even know. And, and I thought I knew a, a lot about audio and video and you know production. It, it was fantastic. The best part, a lot of these hacks on his program can be achieved for free or really, really cheap. And that's a $500 value. Now, those are my bonuses for you today. And oh, yes, I also have one more. As Tim said, just like he has a very special guest, I have a really special guest that is you're not going to want to miss this one, but I can't tell you what that is or who that is yet. But Tim, back over to you. Shh, don't tell him who it is. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. So when you enroll today, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get the PA system, the 12 coaching calls with me and Bruce. That's $2,000. The preposterous checklist and the walkthrough videos, the secret blueprint mailed to you in the US, otherwise you get the PDF, that's $1,000. The attracting media course from Bruce, the pitch templates, the email list, the bonus videos, that is a almost $7,000 value. Total we're talking here is $9,997, but today it's only $9.99. You save almost nine grand. This is a one-time payment. You will not be charged again. Now, you've already seen what this program has done for people like Seth, Dana, Vernice, and others who had no positioning and didn't know how to get themselves on TV and radio and other media outlets, and look at them now. So if you're ready to make this massive leap with us, we would love to have you enrolled in the PA system. So how about a way better than money-back guarantee? We are so confident that after going through the PA system that your business will make that one-degree shift. You'll finally have clarity about your business, and you can start getting those appearances. You just saw the screenshots of all the people that we've helped, including me. This works. So here's the deal. If you attend all seven of the marketing calls with me live, and if at the end of those calls, you don't feel that your business is in a better position to succeed with a solid marketing strategy, you let us know and we will refund 100% of your purchase. And you can even keep the preposterous checklist and the secret blueprint and zoom like a pro video. Either way, you literally get to keep $1,500 in gifts. We've made this as easy as we can for you, and we're giving you a way better than money back guarantee. So before we give you the link to enroll, we do have a super bonus for the first five people who enroll in the PA system today. The first five people who enroll will get two 
private 30 minute coaching calls after you complete all the training. You get one with me and you get one with Bruce after you go through the PA system. So you know you're in the best possible position for success. And once you get your first TV interview, Bruce is going to critique it for you to help you improve your skills on future interviews. That alone is a $2,000 value. So here's a quick recap. You get the calls with me and Bruce. You get the preposterous checklist, the walkthrough videos, the secret blueprint. Bruce is incredibly effective at tracking media course, the pitch templates, the personally selected email list of media contacts, and the bonus video, plus the first five people to enroll get those two private coaching calls with me and Bruce. That takes the total to eleven nine ninety seven. But today, one time, nine ninety nine. And again, that way better than money back guarantee. Again, this is one time you won't be charged again. Now, you're probably thinking, well, when, do, when does this all start? We would love to have you join us. The calls start March 11th at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific in the U.S. on Zoom. You will get an email from me in the next few days with the full curriculum in the schedule. Plus, we will post the schedule in our private Facebook group, which you get access to. There, you'll be able to ask questions, get help from us directly, and other people like you who will be a part of our family. So you get the link to join the group on Facebook as soon as you enroll. If you're ready, here is the link to grab this right now. I want you to go to massive-media.marketing slash bonus. And as a quick reminder, the average results of any course is $0 and zero cents. This system works if you work it. We want to thank you for your time. We'll go to the questions here in just a minute. But again, go to massive-media.marketing and sign up. For you in beautiful Northern Nashville. Did, uh -oh. did, did, did can we... you guys hear me right now? Yeah, there no? you are. We got you. Okay, fantastic. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do you one better than that. Um, because I remember I did this for our group last time. I want and I really enjoyed doing it. I'm gonna do it again. I'm going to throw in three bonus classes with me for anybody who signs up today. And my bonus classes are, I've done a thousand of these exact interviews you're talking about. Um, and I, I don't want to see people make the mistake of trying to bite off something that they can't do right in the beginning. Like they try to go on a big show or something like that right away. They're not totally prepared for that. And my three classes will show you how to make sure you get the best bang for your buck when you do land these things um well last time we did the mock we did the mock television and radio shows yeah that way it gets you prepared because nothing prepares you yeah I, I like training where you know people say oh you know you know oh, i got a very good nugget and they've taken down feverishly taking notes and they get all this lecture information but then they don't actually do it get their hands dirty and next thing you know they have a lot of theory, but they can't actually do the thing. It's like when you learn how to play an instrument, I'll use instruments because I played instruments my entire life. The guy says, oh, here, you, you know, you're going to learn how to play the, play the guitar. And the guy shows you how to read music. And he says, okay, you see the five lines, you know, it's easy to read music. You know, you know, it's every good boy does fine. It's easy way to remember it. That's the E, you know, E G, right? Every good boy does fine. See the lot, the spaces F A C E easy. What's now you know how to read music. See the guy's taking notes down. Oh yeah. I mean, he told me easily how to read music now. I said, here, play the guitar. And the guy goes, oh, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> like, you know how to read music? Because uh. he never did it, all right? I want to make sure you guys actually do this. And I will hold your hand to make sure you have success. That way, when you get on these TV and radio shows, these podcasts, and don't diminish podcasts. The thing about a podcast, that is a directly targeted audience for you. And there's podcasts literally on everything. I don't care if you have, you know, uh, your business is slapping your cat in the face with Swiss cheese. All right. <laughs> there's, there is thousands of people who watch that podcast. Oh yeah. I slap my cat in the face with the Swiss cheese all the time. It's hilarious. I make these YouTube videos of slapping my cat in the face with the Swiss cheese. Oh, they love it. The Swiss cheese got the whole, I put it over the cat's nose. Oh yeah. He's doing it. All right. There's a podcast for that. So whatever your business, I don't care how small the niche is, you will find podcasts that will find you the direct exact customers. I want to show you how to do that really awesome. 
Let me so, let me throw in one quick thing about podcasts, Rich, because you brought this up. This is a really great point. I don't know if anybody on this call, if you know this, but this is a true stat. Uh, I believe it is 90% of podcasts that are downloaded are downloaded by people who make over $75,000 a year. Yeah. So people that are downloading podcasts, guess what they have? Money. Mm. So if you want to go into a podcast to sell something, that's that's a pretty smart avenue for you. And by the way, speaking of podcasts, what's the name of the one, the podcast where you slap the f- cat in the face with the cheese? Is there a name for that? Because I want to find that one. I, I'm going to binge watch that now. It's called Smelly Kitty. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> i'm making a note of that now i'm gonna hold you yes. to that but those three calls with rich and we'll talk to john here in just a minute because john went through the class if you have any questions and we'll open it up to questions after we after john talks but those three calls with rich even if you throw a thousand dollar bonus on a uh, value on that and and now the 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 value is at what 15 16 grand yeah, for, I'm, for I'm gonna explain how how va- how valuable that is um because i'm going to use me as the example um i've done this and i've actually done everything possible to get on media you know i I even even bought my way on you know where um i had a station that i knew i was going to be perfect for they wouldn't put me on no matter what i actually literally bought advertising time on the station in exchange for me being on the show live and i said it's a calculated risk i know that i'm gonna do really well on this show it's the exact targeted market i know i will sell my products when i go on this this show and I knew exactly how to do it. And I literally sold a ton of product, you know, and, and I sold out all my shows. It really was valuable. So yes, there is extreme value in learning exactly how to market, you know, in not that slimy salesy way, you know, you want to be on, on media, but you want to kind of like covertly get the message across that, Hey, I have the solution to your problem. And there's ways I, I'm going to show you exactly. How to do. I'm going to hold your hand the entire way. So I want to make sure you have success. Um, again, my big thing is I, you know, if I write a joke for somebody and somebody says the joke and it gets a big laugh, I'm like, oh, that's my joke. I wrote that joke. I, I get great pride of that. So when I see you folks on TV, on the radio, on the podcast, and you're doing well, I take I take some of that credit. I say, oh man, I, I produced this person. I made this happen. So yeah. um, I'm going to throw those three classes in there. And I will guarantee you, you will have success if you just just do it. Get your hands dirty. It's not just reading the notes on the paper. You have to play the guitar. You have to strum. You have to strum the music, strum the strings. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Yep. So uh, I'm more than happy to give that to you, um, to give that to our folks here today. I, I really want to see you guys succeed. Beautiful, John Serbone. For those of you who don't know John Serbone, he went through our class. He was in the first class, which just ended a, a few weeks ago. And John, you are, you're known as one of these guys that you're the trainer's trainer. You know, people look at you for guidance and wisdom and you went through this class. Tell us what you got out of it. Um, and, and what have you done since, uh, since you were through the class? There's so much information you guys have shared with us in that class that I'm still basically putting it together to, to go out there and do more with it. Um, but it's an amazing amount of information and there's no nonsense to it. You know, the people involved here, the three of you really know what you're doing. I've been to so many classes at other conferences and that sort of thing with, you know, uh, internet email funnels and stuff you can't do and a bunch of stuff and people walk out of the class and scratching their head. There's no scratching your head with this course. You people know what you're doing and you're putting us right on the right track to success, period. That by itself is worth the price of admission, no matter how you slice this. Because there's so much information in there to get out there and do the things that you want to do. There's other secrets, which you haven't mentioned yet, about certain ways of getting out there that they're going to eventually get a, be, to be a part of, that you can actually start knocking on the door of these places on a regular basis. One of them I had gotten a response back from. Has, have they written an article about uh, that particular topic or something to do with me? Not yet, but they did get back to me. That's more than me just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Yeah. And aside from which, the other things I'm building up to do uh, will consistently get me out there in a better way. Anytime I've been on national television or with my own TV show or whatever it's been, um, it was kind of hit and miss. They called me. Now I have a cohesive way of reaching out there to get them 
to respond where I'm reaching out and the basically, here's who I am, here's what I do, let's do something. And I'm very happy with a proactive approach that way. You guys were awesome. The class was amazing. Take the class if you can put this together, get out there and do this and take a lot of notes. I've taken a tremendous amount of notes on this class. Um, <laughs> my index finger from typing on my phone is sore. You know what I mean? From all the typing I've done, but including even today. I mean, I took this course and I'm still taking notes because the nuances and things that come out of your mouth from the years of experience is basically sitting with like Jedi masters, being able to absorb this stuff. Um, I don't know what else I can say beyond that. There's a tremendous yeah. amount of information out there. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Th Thanks, John. John. John was awesome. And we yeah. love uh, John. Now, be truthful. Did Bruce, Rich, and I, when people were in the class, we had a pretty good class last time, pretty good sized class. Did we not answer every question? Even if it meant staying on the call late. Yeah. Even throwing in occasionally, here's an extra call just in case you didn't get it the first time. I mean, you guys made sure oh, the yeah. room was well painted with information. You bring up a good point. We've been known in this class to do surprise bonus things, like something pops up in the news or I'll post something in the group. And this is a private Facebook group. This is not open to the public. And uh, so if there's a, a, a tactic, a strategy, or something, hey, you guys need to jump on this like right now, we give it to you. So, and it's like I said in the class, and I'll say it again here, nobody wants to see you succeed more than the three of us. Because if you succeed, then you talk great about us. We talk great about you. So it's, it, there literally is reciprocation here. So if you're serious, and you want to do this, we will literally, like John said, we will hold your hand all the way through this thing. And, um, and, the, and the, the calls are recorded. Yes, you have access to them forever. You have access to the Facebook group forever. Um, you can ask questions in there. And if Bruce or Rich or I can't get to you, one of the other people might answer your question. So there's literally no guesswork here. We will show you how to do this. And it's not as hard as you might think. So Rich, back to you in Nashville. Yeah, I actually put the um, the link to join the class uh, in the chat room. Beautiful. So all you, lose, you click on it, and the first five are going to get all those super bonuses and stuff. Um, you want to? You want to? I, I know we did this last time. We uh, we really went over over the top. You want to do that again with the other the other thing, the super bonus? You got the floor, man. All right, I, I tell you what we're gonna do. I, I, cause I, I know a lot of these people in this class. I, I, I love them, you know. So, um, I tell you what, anybody who joins the class, if you want to bring a colleague or a friend, they can do the class along with you. Yeah, the bring a friend, so you wow. can split the bill with them. So yeah, you, yeah, actually, yeah. If you if you want to pay it and, and bring your friend along, fine. Um, if you want to split the cost with them, you can, you can say, Hey, you know, I just joined this class, you know, it's nine 99. It's usually like $12,000. Um, you want to split it with me, you know, we'll do 500 a piece. Um, there you yeah, go. I, I will, we, we can throw that in with them. We did that. We did that for our folks last time. Yep. And then everybody, everybody brought somebody. So <laughs> I think, so, yeah, I, everybody, brought somebody. we got, we got really beat up, but that's okay. You know, everybody got, you know, we have a lot of good people doing a lot of good things now. So, yep. um, but yeah, we, we did it for those people last time. We'll, we'll do it for these folks also. Yeah, that, that really worked, by the way, too. I brought a friend, and she and I were on the on phone calls to like 2 and 3 in the morning after these calls were over. I, I know. That's the cool thing about it is because now you have an additional person. Uh, whenever you're learning a new skill, if you're like kind of doing it together, it makes it a little easier because you're going outside that comfort zone. I call it the Goldilocks effect. You know, this one's just right. And you don't mind doing something new if you're doing it with a friend that you know you're familiar with and you're, you're comfortable with and yeah you, you know you we, we, we'd be staying up to two three o'clock in the morning sometimes you know working on material and, and getting things done um because of that you know so yeah it actually worked out for the learning um capacity also so yes if we'll, we'll do the exact we'll extend you the same exact courtesy if you want to bring a friend uh for the same price that's fine and you can split the cost with them it's, and it's how, how about how about how about i do a i'm going to call an audible here because Good. I know that um, Lydia, Lydia, you're in London and anybody, so anybody, these calls would start at like one in the morning for her. Right. <laughs> so Hi. how about this? So if, if you're outside of the United States, we will do, uh, I know I will do 
I will do at least one bonus call with just the people outside of the U.S. and we'll, we'll adjust the schedule so it's not at a crazy time for you. Um, but again, you get access to everything. And uh, so if you're outside of the U.S., we will make it work and we'll do some special live calls with just you folks. Um, I think Bruce and I. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Yeah. So if, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm actually really good. I'm, I'm, we're good friends with Lydia too. So I want to make sure she gets the success on this thing. So I will, if I have to hold her hand the entire way to get her to make it happen. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do some, we'll Thank do you. some private calls. <laughs> Thank you. Rich. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So let's, let's open this up to anybody have any questions, raise your hand or uh, hit the hand yeah. button or whatever on zoom there. If anybody's got any questions. Uh, if it all makes sense, if you're excited, if you, if there's an area we didn't cover that you're interested in, or you want to do, uh, let us know. Uh, let's see. Anybody got any questions? Let me see. Anybody holding their hand up? Dan, Maria, Jim, Brisa. I think I said Brisa, right? Right. Is that, it's Brisa. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Make sure I didn't mess up your name again. All right. Any questions, uh, Brisa? Any questions for us? Um, I don't really have any questions. I took a lot of notes, so. Good. Good. Yep. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, it all makes sense. What, what, what I found one of the um the big uh, selling features of this was the fact that once you get on the shows, you were able to use those logos on everything. That you put out, you know, your website, you know, any type of marketing materials that you now put out, you automatically uh, now can use all those, all those logos. I've, I've been on this, I've been on all these media outlets. It, it's, it gives you instant credibility. And that can never be taken away from you. Yeah, it really ups your game. You know, I, I noticed that, you know, early on, I had all these great, you know, um, logos from all these shows that I did. And people would want to come see my show because, Hey, look, he's been on Fox. He's been on, you know, CNN, you know, now it's, you know, I did a lot of the small local ones first and then those local ones then were parlayed into getting bigger ones. Yeah. You know, and yeah, you, the logos is just the beginning of it. I mean, there's a whole it, section I did in the attracting media course where we talk about so many ways that you can leverage, whether it's, you know, the video clips, whether it's the online outlets, that you can leverage this stuff, you know, even beyond the logos and the logos are great. That's just the, the starting point of it. Yeah. The momentum just really builds. It's, it's incredible, you know, and uh, I, I was very lucky that I kind of, you know, I, I found you guys and I was able to bungle my way through a lot of the stuff early on. Um, but yeah, it's, it's extremely valuable to just keep on chipping away. And then you, you move through the ranks and you got bigger and bigger shows and I'm looking to do even bigger stuff now, now, now that I've had all this other stuff um, under my belt, I can go after the, the really, really big shows now. Yeah, and the, one of the things that we talk about this in the course, one of the things, uh, and, and, and Bruce touched on this, um, you know, if you want to get to the, like, take Seth Kaplan, the guy, the airline guy. He's been on literally every major media outlet around the world. We're talking BBC, Sky News. I mean, huge, 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 huge. But it all starts with one. And when you get one, it starts to snowball because what they're all looking for is before they put you on TV, well, have you done TV before? Have you been on radio before? Can I read an article that you've done? Once you get one and we show you how to get one, once you get one, it just, like Rich said, it just builds from there. It snowballs. And, it, absolutely. And and you start, the more logos you can slap up on that, on your website and all of your print materials promoting yourself, I mean, it's huge. You can, and, and here's the thing. It, again, it can never be taken away from you. Ever. So, um, if, uh, oh, Lydia says she's got to put the kids to bed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's late over there in the UK. All right. The, 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 contact this, with us? The, this thing literally pays for itself. You know, once oh. you did, if you did one show and you sold, um, even 20, pro 20 of your products, let's say you have a $20 product or a $25 product. Let's say you had a, um, a $25 item. If you sold 20 of them, you're, you're already in the black. Yeah. From doing again, one show. We, we show you how, the, the whole point of this is to get you exposure that you can't buy. Yep. I mean, you can't, you can buy it, 
But if you walked in, like if Rich wanted to go do, or if I wanted to go down to KMOV here in St. Louis, the CBS affiliate, and I said, hey, um, can I be on your your Great Day St. Louis show, which is on in the early afternoon? Oh, yeah, you can for $3,000. No, I'm not paying three grand. I want to get on there for free. We show you how to do that. <laughs> exactly. No, you shouldn't be paying for media appearances. And there are people who are saying, oh, yeah, if you give me 89 bucks, I'll get you on these three. Oh, come on, man. This is something, again, th this can never be taken away from you. This is a skill that once you know how to master this, and it's not hard, once you know how to do it, you can turn it on or off practically anytime you want. And we literally show you exactly how to do it. So if hey, you jump in. Oh, hello, um, hello. If you're thinking about doing, if you're about doing this, just do it. You know, yeah. I remember being on a call similar to this at one point. I just went and got my credit card out of my pants in the other room um, and just signed up. And with the bring a friend thing, it cut the cost of it in half. And I'm telling you, it's really worth it. It's a tremendous amount of information. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you can sit there and you can play with the money and hem and whore, or you could just jump in the pool with both feet and you'll be glad you did. Get in there and do it. Yeah, it's going to be like good for your business. You're not going to lose anything out of this. You're likely to gain a lot more than you've invested. So there's no downside to this. Yeah, like we said, we get that, that better than money back guarantee. I mean, literally. Like if you if you don't think that we can help you, I mean, yeah. go through the go through the seven calls with me. I guarantee. And if you think at the end of those seven nights, you think, oh, this is a waste of time, we'll give you your money back. It's totally fine. We had no refunds last time. I mean, I this it's just a no brainer. Thank you, John. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate Thanks, it. John. The, 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 link, the link is the, the link is in the chat room. So open up the chat, click on the link. And you'll get all you'll get all the bonuses. Yeah. And by the way, if and Rich or I'm sorry, uh, Bruce actually talks about this in one of the maybe in the course or I know we talked about it in the class. If you think you're not good, good looking enough to be on TV. Oh, please. <laughs> like I say, TV people. They're real good looking, but they ain't real smart. Hey, Tim, you Radio got on people. TV 11 times for the Super Bowl. Right, I was on TV 11 times. <laughs> Radio people, they ain't real good looking, and they ain't real smart. So this is an easy game for you to win. I'm telling you. I was on TV 11 times. Made big, 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 big markets. Big markets. Just because I timed my message with the news, and we show you how to do this. So go get it. A any questions? Do we have any questions? Uh, Izzy, uh, Dan, Maria. Anybody. Hi, Michael. guys. Um, hello. It's Maria. Hello, okay. Maria. Um, we are not ready to do this, but we will be interested later on. Right now, we cannot. Sure. We don't have the funds. That makes sense. That's okay. We're going to be repeating this, and we actually we do it again in a couple of weeks, and then we're going to repeat it again later on in the year. Yep. So don't worry about it. It's all going. Sure. We know we can help you. I Man, I know you. I, we we we've worked together, so I know this yeah. this is perfect for you. Definitely. Yeah, we can hook you up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just let us know when you're ready and we'll get you in a class. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Very, um, enlightened. Great. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it might not be this exact deal because, like, what, you know, this in the class is in its infancy. <laughs> so I, I don't know if we'd be doing the, um, the two, you know, the two for one. Um, I don't know if that's going to be included again, um, but you know the, the class itself will probably be, a, be still be around. Yeah. Okay. We'll chat later, and we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maria. You guys have a good right. one. Have you too. Thanks, yeah. Maria. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye. Bye. All right. Any questions? Any anybody wanting to know anything? Any areas we didn't cover? Uh, Izzy. All right, let me unmute Izzy. Israel, hello. Hey, how oh, you doing, brother? There you are. There you are. What's going on? Yeah, I was going to ask you. Uh, this goes out to uh, to you, Tim, or uh, Rich, or Bruce. What is the most fun you've had international television? What were some of the international strategies relative to U.S. strategies? Uh, obviously, you know, obviously related to productivity uh, and, and what your brand is, but when getting on television overseas, what have you noticed that is the best riff for that? Or what is some of the ways you've surfed with that that have been positive? 
That's a great question. Bruce? Yeah, for me, I've had a couple of people that I've worked with. And one of the things that we did is we, we kind of played into our media campaign here. Like, for instance, I've had a couple of authors who I worked with and we did like real big publicity campaigns here in the States. And then I had, you know, a couple of them go to one went to London, then he went over to um, Australia. And what we did is we kind of just played into, wow, you know, this is uh, this is the book. This is the message that's, you know, blowing up in the media in the United States right now. And, you know, and the author's coming to Australia, you know, would you like to have him featured there? So it's kind of, that's been the approach. But if that's not the approach, I would certainly say still, it's still the same game. You know, some of the things we talked about as far as being that expert voice and and, you know, timing that message to the news um, is definitely part of it. But, but yeah, that is one thing that has worked for me and some of my clients was kind of playing into the success we had here in the States and then making it a big deal. Hey, he's going to be in your backyard, you know, have him on right now kind of a thing. You know, it's, I ask because I, uh, with Tim, a lot of times we'll speak about the psychology or the art of war for marketing, some of the uh, uh, different levels and parts and pieces of it. And I'm always thinking about, um, you know, how people's perception is, for instance, in, uh, when you go other places around the world, a lot of times, if you have any celebrity status or according to their perception, they believe that you are from California. <laughs> you know what I mean? No matter what, they, they mark you as a California person, right? So I'm just looking at different strategies for per 